Dr. Madeline. Um, this is a regenerative medicine practice, as you can see, advanced regenerative therapy. We're faith-based, which means we are compelled to do the right thing. We also have a not-for-profit in which we uh, donate money from the medical practice to the not-for-profit so that we can do research as well as train other providers as well as treat patients um, who could otherwise not afford the treatments at no cost to them. Um, the basic principle of the practice is that we try and biohack at multiple different levels in an attempt to uh, push uh, cellular health and we do that largely through this organelle. This is called a mitochondria. The uh, mitochondria is the power plant of the cell. It what, it's what makes the energy that the cell uses to run its metabolism. Uh, it does that in the form of ATP. Um, and with mitochondrial health comes cellular health. And with cellular health comes overall health. So many of the biohacks or interventions that we do are designed to drive the mitochondria to perform at a higher level. The first biohack that we use, and you'll notice that there's an underwater theme, the first biohack that we use is hyperbaric oxygen. What we do with hyperbaric oxygen is we drive oxygen into the bloodstream, not attached to red blood cells, but dissolved in the bloodstream itself. And because that oxygen is under pressure, it dissolves further out into the tissues where it can reach the mitochondria, and it's used in mitochondrial metabolism. When you exercise and you breathe more heavily, that's because your mitochondria are demanding more oxygen so that they can generate more energy. What we do with hyperbaric oxygen is we drive oxygen into the blood under pressure so that it diffuses further out into the tissues. In the short run, that leads to enhanced performance, athletic or otherwise. It just enhanced performance because your cells are doing a better job. In the long run, the oxidative stress caused by the oxygen results in turning on uh, genes that are involved in the regeneration of tissues and silencing genes that are involved in the degeneration of tissues. So in the very short run, what we wind up doing is giving your cells more energy so that they can function at a better level. In the long run, what we wind up doing is turning on uh, various epigenetic phenomena, like post-transcriptional phenomena, stuff downstream from DNA. We turn on genes to help you regenerate tissues. The best example, or the most well-known example, is someone who's had a severe tissue injury that simply will not heal. When that happens, they treat those patients with hyperbaric oxygen, and the, the tissue heals. So it's a proven technique, particularly with severe illness or severe infection. With people who are not uh, severely ill, it drives their body to perform at a much higher level. The beauty of hyperbaric oxygen, the reason that that's our first biohack in the sequence of biohacks, the reason that it's our first is that it affects every single cell in your body. It's indiscriminate. Every single cell, brain, heart, lung, muscle, skin, every cell in your body is driven to a higher level of performance with hyperbaric oxygen. You'll notice we have an underwater theme, and the reason for that is that hyperbaric oxygen is very much like scuba diving. The pressure that are experienced in the chambers is very much like being underwater and having the pressure of the water. The difference between scuba diving and hyperbaric oxygen is that when you're scuba diving, you're not breathing pure oxygen. You're breathing room air, which is only about 21% oxygen. With this, it's as if you were going scuba diving, but you were given uh, much more enriched oxygen. And that drives cellular metabolism, and that drives healing and regeneration. Biohack number one, hyperbaric oxygen, every cell in the body. This chamber is used for patients who are in wheelchairs or stretchers or need to be accompanied, such as a child with an adult. We use this very frequently for our patients who have had brain injuries. Biohack number two. We do hormone optimization. And we know that testosterone has almost 400 
uh, receptors in the body, and if we optimize your testosterone and optimize your thyroid hormone, you will become uh, more proficient at healing. The older we get, the less testosterone we have, so if we can bring you to the same level as a younger patient's testosterone, you'll be a better healer. And so what we're trying to do is generate hyperhealers. First with hyperbaric oxygen, every cell in the body. Second with hormone optimization, almost every cell in the body. Okay, there are, are uh, testosterone uh, and uh, androgen receptors on the cell surface, and the, the nuclear membrane, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, pretty much most cells in the body have androgen receptors. This is also a place where we do uh, regenerative therapy for men and women's health. In the back, you'll see a CO2 laser. We use that for vaginal rejuvenation. In this room, we do men's health, uh, also with hormone optimization. And in the corner, you'll see that there is a low intensity shockwave machine. And what that does is it causes disruption of blood vessels and causes them to regrow better, better so that the penis can be a significantly uh, improved uh, function. Okay? This is red light therapy. There are multiple cells in the body that have metal within them, copper or iron or in some cases, zinc, those metal complexes interact with light to affect the function of the protein that they're uh, embedded in. The most obvious example of light interacting with cells is vision. The light comes into the cell and it interacts with the, the, the metalloproteins um, in the retina. That results in uh, ion channels being open. That results in an electrical impulse, which is vision, interpreted as vision. But hemoglobin and uh, all kinds of other, what are called chromophores, exist in the body. These are cells that are designed to absorb light and use that light energy to enhance their function. I want to turn this off for a second. This is a light, the prism light pod. This is the most advanced, most powerful light generating system for the whole body. Uh, this results uh, in biochemical changes largely related to nitric oxide and function of uh, cytochrome C oxidase, which is part of the electron transport chain. This also drives mitochondrial health. Mitochondrial health means cellular health. Cellular health means overall health. So this complements the hyperbaric oxygen and complements the hormone optimization. Biohack number three, this affects every cell that's uh, exposed to the light. So biohack number one, every cell in the body. Biohack number two, hormone optimization, all of the cells that have uh, androgen receptors. Biohack number three, every cell that's exposed to the red and near-infrared light. Interestingly, the near-infrared light goes deeper than the skin. It can go up to about four centimeters uh, deep into the body. Okay.